everyone. Helen here. Welcome to the Marcy Makes podcast. I'm coming to you from Durham in the northeast of England and it's really lovely to have you here today. I'm just going to pop in for a shorter time today because I've actually got family staying. Well, when you see this, they'll be staying. I'm making this just before they arrive and I don't want really, I don't really want to spend time um, making a podcast while they're here. So it's so long since I've seen them. Christmas 2019 was the last time, yeah, before the world went slightly bonkers in 2020. So yeah, I want to spend all my time with them. So today I'm just going to very quickly show you a couple of things that I've finished making and then I'm just going to do a little sequence of like a mix up of things that you've possibly seen before of me painting and drawing things with a bit of piano accompaniment and I'm going to finish off by taking you into the kitchen to make another favourite recipe of mine if you want a little treat. So that's today. Um, yeah so first of all at last I've finished this shawl here which oh, I don't know when I started it quite a while ago but I've just done loads of other things in between, as you will have seen if you've watched previous episodes. So this is the Drusilla shawl. I came across the this uh, pattern last year in the John Arban Textiles Annual. And this is the fourth one that I've made because I love it. Uh, it's really, really easy. It's definitely suitable for a beginner crochet. And it's just a lovely thing just to have to pick up if you don't want to have to think about anything else at all. You can just focus on this. Uh, the, the yarn I've used is beautifully soft. And now that it's blocked, it does uh, drape really nicely as well, which is always nice in a shawl, isn't it? And it's, that's really pretty, that. And I think actually for once I'm going to keep that for me. So that's very nice. So... So that's a shawl and you might have noticed that Nat Mousy has got some friends here and um, that's because uh, well, a lovely Angela from the Yarn and Yarns podcast is running a knit along, a gnome along, yeah sorry I just called it a gnome along so you don't have to knit not gnomes, you can make anything gnome related is fine and so she recommended a uh, pattern or patterns by Sarah Shearer uh, who's on Ravelry and I believe on Etsy now as well and this is one of the patterns that I bought and um, yeah, they are really really gorgeous I mean if you don't love gnomes I, I don't know why really they've got so much character they're like a really friendly presence in the room and they've been sitting in the lounge and they're just a very calming presence as you see, I have, oh, from photos, I have knitted three so far. One is a slightly more Christmassy theme because I'm thinking that some people I know might like one for Christmas. You need to be able to knit in the round and apart from that, there's not, oh yeah, and you have to be able to pick up stitches. So it's kind of, you know, not for a complete beginner. But Sarah Shearer does have a, an easier pattern, which is definitely suitable for a beginner. But uh, this one is not, not difficult at all. And they're just absolutely lovely. I love them. I don't know how many I'm going to end up with. I'm already on my fourth one. So who knows? I mean, masses of them, they're multiplying. And I also just discovered uh, when I was looking on Instagram today, in fact, um, that Sarah Shearer, the designer of these gnomes, is doing a mystery knit along to make a gnome. Uh, starting in September, I think. I think it starts around about the 21st of September. And you can buy the kind of introduction to that on Ravelry um, at the moment. And yeah, so I've signed up for that because, you know, it, it's a gnome and I, I quite like the idea of a mystery. I haven't done that one before. I think this is the seventh one that she's done, actually. But um, yeah. That's, I'm looking forward to that. So those are my finished things that I'm going to show you today. And I am now just going to give you a little sequence of um, me peacefully painting and drawing, colouring and with some piano 
in the background and straight after that I'm going to go into the kitchen to show you a recipe for butter tartlets. So they are one of my favourite little sweet treats and I hope that you'll enjoy seeing how to make those and you might even want to make them. So here we are, I'm going to pop in at the end to say goodbye but otherwise uh, enjoy a little bit of calm time painting and then in the kitchen. Well, just before I say goodbye to you today, I want to mention a podcast on YouTube that I've just come across. Um, that is a lovely lady who lives in Belgium called Mariam. She has a podcast called The Pianits. And like me, she's a piano teacher. So that's really nice. And straight away, we had something in common. And uh, it's a really lovely podcast if, if you fancy going over and having a look. But in her most recent one, she was chatting about an artist, now I think American, I might be wrong about that, you'll have to go and watch to find out a bit more. Um, uh, uh, anyway, an artist called Grandma Moses and 
the thing that really struck me uh, about when I was learning about her from Mariam was that she didn't start working as an artist until she was 76. 76. I mean, just that, purely that alone, just says it's never too late to start something new. Um, and if you would like to find more find out more about her, then do go and visit Mariam's uh, podcast because it is really very interesting. She shows you some of the paintings, which are beautiful. And uh, I, I felt really, really inspired by that because, you know, if you've watched previous episodes, I am just currently trying to bravely uh, do some watercolour painting and to share my drawings and things that, you know, I've never really thought were very good before. Um, and have, have this lovely YouTube and Instagram community who are being so encouraging. So, but the message I want you to take from that uh, podcast of Mariam's is that it really is never too late to try something new and even become successful at it. So, you never know, I might become a famous artist. <laughs> well, maybe not, but anyway, the, the good thing is that you just try, you just have a go at things. Right then, I am going to say goodbye now. Uh, it's been lovely to have you here today and I will be back next week. Maybe we'll be going on a few outings next week with uh, because we'll be going places with the visitors. And um, yeah, I shall look forward to you joining me then. But for the moment, uh, just take care of yourself. Keep nice and busy and I'll see you again soon. OK, then. Bye.